So hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, year 2023, uh, SVA BFA Animation Accepted Students Day. Uh, so this is the reel that you are seeing is our uh, animation reel from last year's thesis class. So we can move on to our deck. Lovely theater staff. Oh, it's me. It's me, sorry. Hi. <laughs> All right, so welcome to uh, our BFA animation presentation. I know you've been to the pier and met some of our colleagues. Uh, but what you're about to see for the next hour is um, my staff as well as our students and you get to ask questions. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you this alumni achievement reel, which they're the recent alum from the last two years as well as the, where they are working. And you, what you're about to see is your thesis project. All right. What are you trying to say? Cut! You took too long! You think you're... Louder! Really pretty and cool? First <laughs> ah. I would like to... Happier! Happier! Kiss you! Cut. Stop! I want to do it my way! And when a company is selling... Any company... Is selling a life-saving medicine. One that patients have to have where they're going to die and you have executives who are making multi-million dollar salaries, multi-million dollar bonuses and stock options and all the perks. There's something wrong. There's no train scheduled on this line for the next 26 hours. There's more of them. You down, Gina the geologist Jorgensen. Ha! You might think you are a 10 on the most hardness scale, but I know you're merely a 1. I love to watch Tony! Bury me! Bury me alive! <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. All right, so hi everyone. I'm sorry, I never really introduced myself. Uh, my name is Shanji Mo. I'm the chair for BFA Animation at School of Visual Arts. And I also want to say hello to people on our YouTube channel. Hi, I'm sure there's a lot of SEPTA students that couldn't travel to New York. Uh, so I want to say a quick hello. Um, so I don't work alone. Uh, we have a really amazing team of, er, the longer you work in the animation department, the more you look like a cartoon character. That's kind of how we are. Um, so we had the entire supporting staff to help and actually a, most, of, most of everyone graduated from SBA. <laughs> yes. And um, so just a quick note about um, our department. Uh, we call ourselves AnaFam, and we have a lot of students from all over the world. And before I go into a lot of these details, uh, just a quick note about 
the FA animation specifically. So we specialize in 2D animation. Uh, I'm sure you all heard about Steven Universe and a lot of shout out some of the shows you know. Okay, KO, Owl House. Yes, perfect. So I'm sure those are the reasons that you're here. So we specialize in 2D animation. Uh, we do have a rigorous curriculum, four-year curriculum for you to go through. Um, but these are the people that in our Anafam, we do have that hashtag. And we're from six different continents and a lot of different countries. This department is the m hardest one to, to be accepted. So congratulations, you worked really hard to be accepted. And we have... Um, 20% of our students, student body do, do receive the merit based scholarship, and we do a lot of fun things. So quickly dive into our curriculum. I'm gonna give you the quickest overview about what your four years might look like. Uh, in your freshman year is the foundation year that you will be taking a one year long of animation, uh, intro to animation classes where you learn 12 principles of animation. You go from paper directly into our digital tool. You also take one year long of uh, drawing classes, which you will see drawing classes completely embedded in our four year curriculum, and that's how important that is. And we also take one year of story classes. Again, the freshman uh, classes is for you to t uh, learn different aspects of animation production pipeline. And then once you get into the sophomore year, that's when you put all the aspects into the production pipeline and work on your film. So in the fall semester, you work on your pre-production. In the fall, uh, spring semester, you work on production and post-production. Uh, again, you will go through the production pipeline multiple times and making multiple films throughout your four years. In your third year, uh, that's where, where things get a lot more exciting because uh, all in the fall semester, all the third year and junior year, students work on group film. So the entire class um, from 15 to 20 students, um, they will work on one film together. The first day of a class, student will go and pitch their idea and whoever gets the most votes, um, that's the film they will be making. They put together a production team based on everyone's portfolio and specialization. And the purpose for that is one, for um, us to mimic how the industry, because once you leave here, again, we're helping you transition into the industry. So knowing how to collaborate, how to have a healthy arguments and how to stand up for yourself, as well as finding that specialization. Uh, and, then bef and then in the spring semester, uh, all our junior students work on their individual film as well. So throughout, there are a couple of other required classes I'm just gonna go through is also gesture drawing, perspective drawing, sonic storytelling, which is sound design, as well as life drawing. Again, drawings are so important. So if I can give one homework for you before you come in in September is continue to jog over the summer. And that's how important that will be. But also at the same time, take care of your hand your wrist is going to be your best friend. So um, so make sure you take care of yourself. And then before you go into your senior year, that's when you work on your senior film. And again, I know we focus a lot about our animation curriculum, but you will also be taking a lot of art histories and humanities classes that will complement what you're trying to do, especially the stories that you want to tell in making your films. So before I hand this over to my colleague, I do want to, uh, tell you one thing, because what you're about to hear is a lot of fun things we do, a lot of parties, and a lot of programs that we do to bring up this extracurricular activities to bring up the uh, student experience. But I do want to say how difficult uh, you will hear from our student panel is there's a lot of hard work. As much as animation is a medium for entertainment, there, it comes with a lot of hard work, a lot of repetitive drawing one frame after another. Um, so as much as it's, it's a fun entertainment medium that there's hardware embedded in, in inside and behind the scene, and that's all we're trying to do is to balance that we do have fun stuff for you to be, part, be a part of, but at the same time, the classes are really important for you to go and learn, and most importantly, our faculty member, where, who you'll be learning from. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna hand this to uh, Angelica Virgil. She's our Director of Operations. Thank you. Hello, I'm Angelica Virgil. I'm the Director of Operations here at SVA at the BFA uh, Animation Department. I am going to mention a couple of things. Go back. Oops. 
So you probably have received a piece of paper that looks a bit like this. Does everyone have it? Um, feel free to, um, to animate, to draw on it, and we're actually gonna collect your, these papers after um, this presentation, and we're actually going to film it and make a little walk cycle with all the things that you are drawing there. So um, while we're talking, feel free to, to draw, but also listen <laughs> while we're talking. So it should look like this. This is from last year, correct? Yeah. Um, so we're gonna talk a bit about a sneak peek of our uh, lab. We have um, our classrooms are home to th uh, 39 animation courses. Uh, for the most part, we're located in two buildings and they're right across the street from each other, but there are classes throughout the campus, which is, uh, New York City, actually. <laughs> so um, there might be some classes, humanity classes, that are in different buildings, and usually it's about like a 10, 15 minute walk, depending on where you're at. Um, we have 50 non-animation students who take our elective classes. We have a equipment rental hub that students could take out um, equipment for their homework or their outside um, assignments. Um, outside of classes, and also we have a sound recording studio and suite, all which you will see um, within an hour or so. Our community is, is very large. Uh, we help foster the next generation of artists. Uh, we have a, almost close to 50 adjunct faculty, and they all work in the industry. 60% um, of our faculty are S SVA alumni. Um, 82 industry professionals are av available for thesis advisors when you are in your fourth year. And um, this is a really good opportunity for network building for internship opportunities because your professors are working in um, these different studios. So this, all these logos you see here are um, where our faculty have worked or currently working. Um, so uh, there's a lot of things to be excited about. And also, we have over 1,000 alumni in the industry, as Sean uh, previously mentioned. They've worked in a lot of different projects, some of them that I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with. And um, I'm gonna hand it off to um, my other colleague, Sam Lee. Hey everyone, um, it's really good to meet you. Uh, my name's Sam, I'm the Special Projects and Programs Manager in BFA Animation, which is honestly just a fancy way of saying I help bring the fun into all the educational stuff that you'll be going through um, during your time at SVA. Um, so I'm here to talk a little bit about student life. Um, what I work with is kind of building our community that Angelica was talking about, um, outreach within and without the department. Uh, so for student life, uh, you've probably heard Shang mention the ANAFAM. That's what we like to refer to ourselves to. Um, and it doesn't mean that you just attend classes together. We take great pride to celebrate and support the connections our students make with each other outside the classroom as well. Um, after all, animation is the very joyous craft that we like to do together. Um, and we like to think we reflect that as well in our community. Um, and participating in professional animation industry includes like exposure to the animation world outside of our SVA walls. Uh, like Angelica was saying, your campus is New York City, uh, which comprises of a lot of different independent animators as well. Um, and you see some of the activities that we do with our students. Um, the top, what is it? right is our annual undies screening which is short for underclassmen don't worry um, where we screen all of the underclassmen films that everyone's been working on for the previous year um, and one of my favorites from this past year actually is the top left where we had a um, I think she works in scientific illustration, but she brought all of her skull collection into one of our drawing classes uh, to study anatomy with the students, which was really, really fun, um, as well as all this fun stuff on the bottom, but we'll get to that. 
Um, this is our festival program, uh, which we are happy to sponsor student work every year going out to all these different festivals. Um, and it's a constantly growing uh, list that we send everything out to. Um, they are selected films from our junior jammies, undies, and thesis work. So across all four years, um, you will get the opportunity to submit your fest uh, for your film to festivals. Um, and later on during the tour, you'll be able to meet my colleague Diego, um, who actually heads this with his student admin assistant, uh, who will also be there. So <laughs> you'll be able to hear more about that later on, but I'm sure you recognize some of this. We also are happy to sponsor students attending um, festivals if they're interested, uh, as we know that um, exposure to professional environment is also very important on your path through your career. And last but not least, this is my favorite slide. Um, so you'll have a variety of opportunities while you're in SVA um, to kind of broaden your education. Um, and by now you probably get the idea that we like to mix our work with our play in equal amounts. Um, and that extends to all the extracurricular opportunities that you get. Uh, the ones on screen now are only a small handful that well, besides the student senators, uh, that I help to organize within the department. Um, and yeah, including student employment um, that we call for every year, uh, community events such as the Titmouse Five Second Night that we sponsored a ticket raffle for recently. Um, we have our annual holiday screening where we'll kind of just all get together um, right before the semester ends and watch a movie together. Um, and my personal favorite is actually the annual OC Secret Santa that I help organize with my assistant. Um, and it's just a fun way to round out the fall semester um, and do a little art exchange. Um, but that is just some of the things we do, fun things we do, all animation. <laughs> Um, but enough of me talking about how our, amazing our students are. Um, I'll throw it back to Angelica, who will be able to introduce you to some of our student panelists. Welcome, I'm so super excited to have this panel. And um, I'm just gonna ask everyone one question and then we'll throw it to the audience. So if you think of any questions, um, be ready. So I'm gonna just have all the students just briefly uh, say your name, the year that you're in, uh, where you're originally from, and then we'll start with the questions. Hi, my name is Rachel, I'm a senior. I'll be graduating in May. And I'm originally from New Fairfield, Connecticut, which I'm sure nobody here knows. Yeah. Um, my name is Zoe. I'm a third year student and I am originally from Rhode Island. My name's Nevele. I'm first year and I'm from here, New York. My name's Daniel and I'm also from New York. I'm a first year. All right, thank you. So, Rachel? <laughs> Um, so, Rachel, congratulations. You just finished your thesis film that was due yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I feel incredible relief. I'm going to go home after this, and I'm going to plant my face in my pillow, and I'm going to go to sleep, and then I'll wake up and go to sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, Rachel, um, I heard that you are an RA at the SVA uh, Residence Hall. Can you tell us a bit about your responsibilities and what you've enjoyed so far as being an RA? Sure. <laughs> um, I had a really good experience with my RA freshman year. I just, I feel that having that good relationship with someone that kind of is there for you emotionally 
is a really good way to like start an entire college experience. And I think especially since we work so hard, it's nice to have someone to rely on and it's nice to know that you, you're welcomed by your community. So that's mostly what my responsibilities are as an RA, to be there for my residents and for all the people in the school, much less the residence hall that I'm assigned to. But I also do like fun little programs. I get clay and I do, a, I like plants, so I always like, like to cut up my plants and hand them out to my residents. So it's really just about like the atmosphere and making like welcoming people on top of like all the, the homework and the classwork we have to do. Great, <laughs> thank you. Um, next we have Zoe. Zoe, so I know last year you had, or last semester actually, you had to do a group film for your third year, which Sean briefly mentioned. Can you tell us a bit about that experience of how it was working with your classmates and working on one film? It was fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, in my opinion, I would say like the collaborative film is probably like the second most important thing you'll do here. Obviously first probably being thesis. Um, and I would just say that because, um, like Shang said, y it is like a preparation for what it's going to be like in the industry where like you kind of rely on your peers a lot and you also have to be, you also have to be very on top of your own work so that, you know, you're not dragging the rest of us behind. Um, <laughs> but also like the main thing that you learn is just like how important communication is um, and kind of checking in on your classmates and making sure that they're getting their work done. And if they're not, then, you know, giving them a helping hand or, you know, reaching out if you are struggling with your own work. Um, I th it's also just like a lot of fun because you do kind of get to pick and choose what you want to do in terms of the collaboration. So like, um, for example, I got to be the color designer because my, I myself, that's something I'm very much interested in. So you could also be, you know, a character designer, um, work on compositing. There's just like so many options for you and you kind of really get to like dive into that. And it's also like, it helps you figure out what you wanna do in the future. So, I mean, overall, it's just like, it was such a great experience and um, yeah, just like really bonding. So it was fun. Thank you. Next up we have Novelle. So Novea, you're actually a first year student who is working at the Alumni uh, Affairs Office. So you're both a student worker and a student. Um, can you tell us a bit about how it is balancing both like work and your, your classes? Sure. Um, I only started working this semester. Uh, as a freshman, I didn't want to pile on too much because I knew that the courses that I was about to take would be very rigorous. So. I really just eased myself into adding stuff to my already existing schedule. Um, and the best thing about working as a student on campus is that your bosses or the faculty really understand that you're a student first. So if you need to take time off to work on your assignments, then you can totally do that and they'll understand. So that's how I handle that. Okay, thank you. Um, and then last, we have Daniel. So Daniel, uh, you were actually in the crowd one year ago as well, because you were uh, a first year. Um, if you heard, if you have one advice that you wish you heard last year, what advice would that be? Well, I definitely would start drawing now and doing work now, because I came in thinking I would just be relaxing and enjoying myself here. No, you might want to start getting stuff ready and preparing yourself. I had a good time here, though. And as I started, I was, oh, why are we laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest. Uh, I had a great time here. And I, I was meeting classmates. We, I have a big group of friends already. We're all enjoying ourselves. And I just felt like you have to come into here not thinking that it's going to be a fun new college experience. But you really will be doing a lot of hard work. You need to get ready, prepare yourself, and honestly, just plan ahead, just time manage. That's what I would do. Thank you. Um, and th th you could start drawing now with the antigen of <laughs> piece of paper that you have. Um, so yeah, we're gonna throw out uh, questions if anyone has uh, questions from the audience. Uh, we have mics here. Um, so if you have a question, raise your hand and we'll bounce around. 
Hi, everyone. So I'm Nisha Chadri, and I'm the Assistant Director of Graduate Admissions. It's nice to see so many familiar faces. And yeah, so we're going to pass it. So I have one mic on this side, and then Emily on that side has the other mic, and we're going to just shift it back and forth. So I'm going to take the first question this side. So I uh, received a lot of financial aid, and obviously I was approved for uh, student work, like I was in community college. What kind of student work um, would you be doing as an animation major? Like, what's available on campus? Um, what's the wages, the hours, like that kind of thing? What does being a student worker as an animation student really look like? Okay, maybe we could ask um, Rachel. Sure. I don't have much experience in student work outside of residence life as an RA. Uh, that I'll talk about that for a little bit because that, in, t in terms of payment, that is um, free room. You stay in the residence hall for free. Uh, it's kind of an around the clock thing because you really have to be there for people in case anyone needs you. But there's also like duty schedules for being available overnight or like inside the RA office if anyone needs you. But in terms of other uh, student work opportunities, there's tons of opportunities for tech within the, the physical labs. We have a thing called the cage. It's where someone is always sitting if you need immediate tech help while you're working. They rent out pens and headphones. I always use the headphones. <laughs> um, I, that's all. I I know, sorry, I don't, I do, I've only ever done residence life, but I know there's also opportunities within the libraries. We have an east side library and a west side library. Uh, there's also tech help there too. And there's the student center. That's a place where you can, we, there's someone there always working in case someone needs you for help within the student center. Yeah. And then Nevea Lay also, you work as a student worker. Can you, like how many hours do you usually work per week? Um, I try to cap it at 15, but realistically I work about 11 hours. Um, and it's minimum wage. So minimum wage in New York City is $15 an hour. So it's pretty decent. Thank you. Thank you. Also wanted to mention that the admission center is always hiring um, for student tour guides. Emily over there is our previous ambassador. So yes. if you have any questions, <laughs> Emily is the perfect person. We'll take a, another question on the other side if there's any. Hello. Um, I was just wondering, what was your biggest adjustment um, for your first year? Yeah. So I'm from New York, and I went to pre-college before this, so I had a lot of experience living in this area, specifically in the city, and experiencing what classes were like. I think the biggest thing was with pre-college, it was just a summer course, and I would go back and see my family. It was really the long-term living here. I would be more used to, like, cleaning and laundry and all that by myself. I hope all of you know how to do laundry. Please tell me you know how to do laundry. Because some people in my dorm don't, and it really makes me angry. But you just have to be courteous, like self-sustaining, and just know what you're doing by living by yourself. That's all I would say. Thank you. A question would be about hardware or software to make her job easier as a student. Uh, I can answer that question. <laughs> um, all the software um, needed is provided by the school for your time. We have the Creative Cloud, which is all the Adobe products like Photoshop. Uh, we do Toon Boom Harmony, which is becoming one of the industry standards for animation. And we also have more recent ones, or more like, I don't want to use the word obscure, but it's the only word that's coming to mind, like TV Paint, which is... It's like very French, isn't it? I think a lot of French people use it. European. Oh, European, okay. <laughs> um, and hardware is also totally provided. We have the labs, which you're going to visit right after this. There's hundreds of computers and tablets where you can go to all hours of the day to work. Um, and the library, thank you. Oh, my, yes, you can also... <laughs> You can rent equipment out. So there are physical computers and like tablets that you can draw on to rent. I had to do that when I spilled tea on my computer last year. Thank you. Hi, I noticed one, is, one of you was part of the honors program. 
How was how was juggling the workload between animation and honors? I'm very chatty today. It's me. I'm in the honors program. <laughs> Freshman year honors program is going to be very difficult. Uh, it's a lot of work. You take eight classes while most uh, students take four. But if you like literature and you like philosophy and like the hu the humanity side of work, it's re it's going to be really fulfilling and really good. I kind of grin and bared it the first year because I just wanted to do the honors program. But as I continued on, not only does the work get easier because you get less uh, classes, but you like I, I can see how it impacted my work and I, I really am happy that I did it. Um, it's just about uh, time management, which is something imperative for when you come to art school, uh, and really finding what you're passionate about. I was going to say something else, but I can't remember. Oh, yes, one more thing. Senior year, when everyone is doing their last art history on top of their thesis, you don't have to do that. So you just have to worry about your thesis. It's really good. Uh, hi, I'm applying for the 3D animation program. Is that like associated with like this? Uh, no, so this oh, is the, the, the 2D <laughs> animation, but the 3D animation students uh, could take uh, elective classes with us. And I think the, the drawing class, we do host a, a drawing class with uh, the 3D animation department. Oh, okay. uh, but we, we do have a, well, just one. We, we are having a mixer for, this is for you for, um, on the 28th, Friday the 28th, with 3D animation. So it's a, a time to actually get to know the other department. So that's something that we are working on is more collaborating with different departments. Hi, I just wanted to know if there were any materials that we needed, like if we needed to bring any external materials to school or, yeah. So do you want to say sure, like yeah, what, what yeah. you usually bring to school? Well, my first year, I didn't like have a whole lot of like equipment or whatever. I just kind of had like my laptop. And honestly, like that's really all you need. Like this, like said before, the school does supply you with like um, if you want to rent out um, like tablets so you can like work in your room or I mean, yeah, basic a laptop is like pretty much what you're going to need. Is that, is that what you're asking? Could I ask what kind of laptop is good? Um, that's based on your preference. I know there's some MacBookators, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what I use. <laughs> so I do. I do want to add for the drawing classes. The department does uh, provide drawing kits, mm -hmm. um, so you don't have to buy your supplies. We actually provide that for for you before classes start. Thank you. Um, so I want to ask about um, jobs outside of campus. I don't know if any of you have experience with that, but like also with like the workload and like ha like time management, all of that, is it possible to be like working a job that's that's not an on-campus job? Like do you think that's like realistic? I have experience with that actually. Um, my first semester I worked at Staples. Um, and to be fair, it is harder to balance when it's not a campus job because when you work at another place, they're like, okay, I come first because you're my employee, so you have to be here when I want you here. But when it's a campus job, your bosses will understand that you're here for school and that your job comes second. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get a, a job outside, you really want one that's flexible with your hours. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask a little bit about study abroad programs and if any of you have done those or how that works. Has anyone done a study abroad? Yeah. <laughs> I know some people who did the LA trip. Does that count as study abroad? Yeah, yeah sure. We'll, sure. We'll call <laughs> L the West Coast studying abroad. I, oh, that's a good point. I forgot what abroad means. <laughs> I, I just, from the study across coast to LA, uh, I know that 
they really pack full your day. Like, it's not really like you go to another country and just hang out and, like, I don't know if you go to France and drink tea. I don't know. Wine? <laughs> I, I'm trying to be funny. It's not working. Um, <laughs> you, you do a lot. Like, you're going to, like, composers houses and like learning about things you're going to studios there's a really funny picture of a, one of my friends in the family guy studio and they have like welcome sva and it's all family guy characters i digress um so you were doing a lot i i personally think that's really good because you're getting the most for the trip and you're literally meeting people in the industry which is so much more than you could ever ask for and all while doing it in another place there is there is one program that uh, that Sam um, hosts is the we usually go to the Ottawa International Animation Festival, um, and we do do we like we it's the student reps who go and uh, and the best undies, <laughs> <laughs> um, and the department will provide uh, uh, the passes to go to the festival. I mean o Ottawa is in Canada, so it's not like that far from here, but that is one thing that the department does do. Hi, uh, it sounds like you have a rigorous program and I saw acceptance rate is 35%. So my question might be more for Rachel, four years down, or someone from faculty. What is the graduation rate for students who start the program and stay in the program for four years? And if the percentage is changes, what sort of scaffolds or supports are in place to make sure they're on track to graduate? Yeah, I, oh, Sean could I answer this. <laughs> she has more experience. That is a great question, and I'm all about numbers, so I can help out. Uh, I'm proud to say our graduation rate, um, at least from the senior class, in order for them to finish their film and graduate move on, has been 100%. And that rate really comes in with hard work working with our faculty to make sure everyone stays on track. And also, again, we all know life happens in the middle and how we can adapt and in any scenarios there. And, um, but in terms of the retention rates from freshmen throughout the fourth year, I do have to say it's, this department's really hard to get in, um, but we do have student day go through their first year, and this might something for you to consider is that I have students go through the first year and say, I actually don't like making things move. I want to make things beautiful. Absolutely, that's great. Uh, so we do have comics and illustration department the student consider transferring out to. Um, so I would say every year we have about 120 incoming, and I would say about three to five of them were transfer out or uh, take a leave. And again, when I say take a leave, it could be for any reasons. It could be personal, it could be anything that you know doesn't pertain to just the department. But I would say our our department has been pretty consistent from year to year, and even although we have 400 students, we try to get to know everyone. That's why having different job opportunities and different events, I actually just met someone today that uh, they will start as a, a lab assistant for us as well. So to answer your question, um, there's no rate that consistent. It's I can't give you like 95%, um, but I would say each semester, I also have to say after pandemic, uh, things have slowed down because people now know how to deal with that. And because during that two years when we're one year when we we're online, uh, a lot of students were taking leave of absence, and rightfully so. I think that's something to consider. But we've been pretty consistent. <coughs> so I hope to answer your question. But I'm going to hand it to our admission staff. Hi, everyone. So now we're going to get started with dismissals for our department tours. Um, so I will be replacing you all in a few groups. And don't worry if you still have more questions. Like they mentioned, there are more animation staff members at the building. And also, our student tour guides are here. So they will be able to answer any questions that you may have. So I'm going to ask our student tour guides to rise up. And just, um, we're going to begin. And also, a reminder, we are live streaming this, so you can also check. So if you're leaving in the first group, don't worry if there's another question being asked. You can definitely check out the live stream. OK, so guests seated in rows M through S, I'm going to have you all get up. And our tour guides are at the end of the rows, and they're going to take you. I do not know because I'm not in charge of the tours today. Um, Emily, actually, uh, 
Emily's also our senior student, so anyone who's staying at the moment, feel free to ask more questions while would you know while you we wait. Yeah. <laughs> any any other questions? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hello. One question. If I'm not wrong, you mentioned that you have the internship experience in the third year. My question is how students select or are chosen in order to go to any specific uh, internship experience? Um, well, for me personally, it wasn't so much that we were chosen, it's kind of like, uh, it's up to us to whether or not we want to do an internship. Um, it's obviously greatly encouraged, and there are newsletters that are sent out each week with a ton of opportunities for us to apply to. Um, I did my internship mm -hmm. over the summer yeah. um, last year, um, and I, it was honestly, I worked yeah, for um, uh, Bill Plimpton, who was an uh, uh, independent animator here in New York, and uh, I, just, I would just encourage everybody to just apply to as many internships as possible, just to like, um, not only because that's a good experience to apply, but also because if you do get, you know, that, a job or an internship, paid or unpaid, um, it's just gonna better prepare you for not only your junior year where you are working in collaborative <coughs> film and just like in general for your career. So it's not so much that we get chosen um, by SVA, it's just kind of our responsibility to apply. Can I say something? <laughs> um, you're, you're at art school to learn how to draw or to get better at drawing, but you're also here to make connections. Talk to your professors, talk to the people around you. They will help you get a job. Just be social and be nice and talk to as many people you know, apply to as many things, and it, that's how you, you get a job and you get an internship and you meet people. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions on this side? Um, what's like your biggest either regret of something that you wish you didn't do or wish that you did do? Uh, command save. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I lost like three hours of work. You, command save or automatically save, please. You can, what, what program? Toon Girl. You can turn on auto save. I know. Oh, I turn, turn, turn on, on auto save. save in all your programs. I turned on auto save, but <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I think Mercury retrograde is mm. about to start, so that's something to, <laughs> to keep in mind. Put in your calendars. <laughs> go, go to bed. You, are you tired? Go to bed. <laughs> that's what I would say. <laughs> Daniel, do you have a answer to that? I have lost many projects as well due to command save. My fallen warriors, thank you for trying. <laughs> but honestly. I like being ambitious in my first year, and I'm working on my first year film still right now, and I'm being ambitious, but also try to be realistic. You need a good mix of both, because I am being very ambitious, and I keep adding scenes to my first year film, and I, I don't know if I could finish it at this point, but I'm gonna keep trying, and I'm gonna try and balance it as well. So just have a good mix of both ambition and realism, please. Any questions on this side? So for first years, what does an average day look like, or what kind of, what's the classroom environment like, or or um, how much homework would you say it is? Um, so my first year, I have about five classes, um, and I didn't really choose my schedule myself. My guidance counselor chose it, or my academic advisor chose it for me, and it's really like one to two classes a day. The classes are about three hours long. Uh, but you only have them once a, uh, once a week, each session. Um, and then you'll probably get assignments for each class and you'll have a week to complete each assignment. I don't think the workload was unmanageable first year. I was very responsible with my time, I would say, and I was able to get a lot of stuff done. I don't think any of my classes provided like a big challenge that I'd have to block out an entire like week for that project. I could usually manage like one day I'll do this, one day I'll do that. I think the block system that we had was really helpful to like get me acclimated in this first year, and it really helped me. Yeah, we have, we're assigned to different blocks so that we literally travel to each class with a similar amount of people with like the same classmates generally. 
That being said, Block 5 supremacy. We're pretty great. I don't know. Block 6 is pretty cool, too. I don't know. Block 5 is pretty good. <laughs> what block were we, Emily? I think that we were Block 5. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we're going to take one more question before we head off for another group um, of tours. As a reminder, housing tours are also provided after your department tour, so if anyone's interested in that, um, they will provide that over there with shuttles. In addition, if anyone, so everyone is walking to the department, but if anyone is um, needs to take a ride, please let me know. Um, we have a shuttle in the front as well as Sprinter. Okay, one more question from here. For the thesis film, what is the length and are there any limitations to what you can submit? I would say in terms of limitations, make something you can submit. Like there's no firm limitation, but you have a year to do it, so make something you can do in a year. In terms of logistics, I'm pretty sure uh, a minute and 30 is minimum. I thought it was one minute. One minute? But less than five. Less than five minutes. Mine was three minutes and 40 seconds. Um, and there, it's not, there, there are different versions of the thesis. You can do a thesis film, which is what I did, which is just a film within whatever the time limit we just said was. You'll know closer to. <laughs> um, but there's also, we, we do a pitch, which is another thing that you'll learn where you essentially just make a pitch for a TV show you'd like to make, and then you make a shorter film, roughly 15 to 45 seconds, that's a trailer. Or, um, like, I don't want to confuse you now with all these different terms, but <laughs> like an illustrative film, which is more of just still images that you put together to tell a story. Because if you decide later on that you don't really like animation, but you still like storytelling in a visual medium, you may want to opt for that route. What I'm trying to say is just that there are many different things you can do for your thesis. It's not just necessarily sitting down and making a film. There's a lot of flexibility and to really make something that you're going to be proud of. Does that make sense? Yeah. Emily's going to take another question. Okay. Hi. Do most students take a monitor from home for the dorm, and do you use that, or do you stay in the lab? Um, and use the, the kit there if you're working late? Um, so, I mean, it's up to you. Like I said before, you don't need one. It's nice to have something for your room so you can have like your own personal space, your own cave to live in. Um, but um, <laughs> me personally, that gets a little, it's kind of, uh, it's not like a great environment when you're like stuck in your room all the time. So like going to the labs, it's kind of a great, place just to like work with other people you get to talk to people um and yeah you have all that at your disposal to use so you don't need one but it is a nice thing to have can i add something to that i'm so sorry <laughs> um, you can also rent out equipment from the equipment hub so let's say you need to visit home for some reason over a weekend and you have a big deadline coming up, you can rent out a Cintiq or a MacBook and take it with you and then you can bring it back. All right, I think we are concluded our Q&A. Thank you so much for all of you for, for being here and for the guests here today. Um, I just want to end that uh, after this, you know, we're doing the tours at the department, but on Saturday, May 13th, it'll be amazing if you all joined us for our thesis screening. You'll get to see Rachel's work and Emily's work. They're really amazing. Um, it'll be a long day event um, with some nice uh, little treats that y'all don't know yet. <laughs> but thank you. Okay, so the second group is ready to go. Guests seated, in guests seated in rows G through L, please stand up and your tour guides are ready for you. Oh, bye YouTube screen. <laughs> Hi mom. Bye. Bye. Hi mom. <laughs> <laughs>